even more for the community. She takes in donations and then gives them to those in need. The project is called the Firefighter's Closet and it's set up in her own home. She invited Sonora in to take a look. I answer more of the medical calls. Um, when there are fires, I am there along with several other crew members, um, you know, not only for the homeowners, but for our other firefighters. We come back home thinking, could we have done something different? Could we have done something quicker? And the answer is no. I mean, we, we've done it all. We, we try our best, but sometimes it's, it's just not savable. It's too far gone. Just sitting around one night, um, thinking about all the different things to do more of, what else can we do? You know, we had worked a fire one day and these poor guys, they lost everything. They lost their home, they lost everything. And it just kind of hit me, what if it, that was my family? My mom and dad are firefighters. It's not easy just to run and buy clothes and shoes to start over. It, it really did hit hard after that one, uh, not very far from my own house. So I thought, you know, what, what can we do? Amanda McPee, creator of the Firefighter's Closet. I have anywhere from newborn little baby boys to toddlers. It goes all the way up to, you know, bigger little boys, little socks and undies, pajamas. And then it kind of skips the guys, go back this direction, but we have all the men's stuff. And kind of the same with the girls. We start with the newborn all the way up to grown adult sizes. Sheets, pillowcases, blankets, towels, mattress covers, boxes of pillows. <laughs> You name it, if it has to do with bedding, it's in here. I have been helping the community. I take in all the donations. Like I said, I get them prepared, washed, sorted, ready to go. My biggest thing right now that I need help with is extra space. Y'all have seen my laundry room. You've seen my spare room. I'm out. I am in desperate need of a sea container. 